Ghetto is a blog, label, events. Um, it's kind of a home for a lot of artists to, it's a platform for a lot of artists to release on and to be promoted through and to get gigs on and it's kind of, it's, it's a house, you know, it's, it has its, its, its housemates. Basically what our nights are all about is bringing a like-minded crowd together in, in, in a place that has a good atmosphere, you know. It's not about coming and standing around with your iPhones out and texting your mates or taking videos on your iPhones. It's about coming out, listening to some really good, non-pretentious tunes, having a really good time, good music, and no pretension. You know, that's what our nights are all about, and that's what they've always been about. Not about who's the coolest, the coolest DJ you can book, it's more about who plays the best music. You know, who's got the most soul, who can, who can get a crowd excited. And that's, that's what we've always tried to do with our nights. Where I think the best scene for house music is it's kind of hard to tell because I, I mean I've traveled a lot but I haven't been to like the meccas of house music I've never been to Detroit I've never been to Chicago I've been to New York but I, I wasn't there long enough to really get a feel for anything so all I have experience of is the London music scene I mean I, I'm Irish so I have the Dublin music scene as well but the London music scene is it's kind of one of the big ones in the world and it's the only one I really have a proper experience of I think it's a hard thing to know about a scene unless you've experienced it for a length of time. I think EDM is possibly the most inaccurate moniker uh, electronic music has ever adopted. It's just, everything gets thrown in the same, the same uh, pot. And I, I don't think it's very accurate. And I've never, I, I would never describe something as EDM. You know, it's, it, it's a weird one. And I think it's, it oversimplifies a complicated industry. Oh yeah. You were looking so good to me the night we met I could not see how deep you were to penetrate my heart mm -hmm. Now that some time has passed It made me think this was meant to last I never wanna be a part Oh no, no Don't let me fool you If I'm acting kinda cool to you It's just a little bit I So David Cameron hit Ibiza this week Okay, so David Cameron hit Ibiza but I reckon he didn't really hit Ibiza. I reckon he nuzzled up in some villa and just sat in the sun. And it's like any sun holiday for him, you know. He's not there for DC10. He's not there for space on the terrace, you know. He's he's there to hang out. So I wouldn't take much steed in it. <laughs> if David Cameron um, was out, say, on these nights that you said he, he wouldn't be, what, what would be your reaction? <laughs> if I came Did across, you him or not? oh man, if I came across David Cameron. Uh, on the dance floor anywhere, never mind Ibiza. I would, I would definitely high five him and spike his drink. <laughs> um, I did w once work for Alan Sugar, but he never fired me which actually would have been a bit of a novelty. <laughs> Good little chubby finger. <laughs>